Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can do the Webby Report development on top of the HANA database. So, when a universe is published to the BO repository based upon the SAP HANA views, it can be directly used for reporting using the query panel. So, universe contains data from SAP HANA or the non-SAP data sources as well. So, let's see how we can create a web report on top of the HANA. So, we go to the web rich client and here we will try to create a new document and let's say if we choose the universe as a data source. After that, we have to select the universe which is built upon the HANA. So here, this is the query panel which is there in the Webby Rich Client or if you create the report using the Launchpad. So you will get the similar query panel from both the tools, either from the Rich Client or from the Launchpad. So on the on the screen, we have four main areas, that is the universe outline. So this area, it will provide you with all the different classes, dimensions, measures which are available in your universe. After that, you have the result objects. So if you want to include the data in the report, you have to select only those objects into this area because whatever object you will select from the universe in this area, only those objects will be available for reporting into the report. After that, we have this query filters. So we can filter the query by dragging either the predefined filters from the universe or we can drag the objects here to filter the conditions. After that, we have the data preview. So in the data preview, we can run the, uh, run the query here and we can see the data like are we getting the data from the data source or not. So let's see how we can create the results objects in this panel. So let's say if I go here and if I select country, city, region and then I will go and select few of the measures. So let's say if I select the gross amount. So now if I go here, I will be able to see the script. So if I click on view script, I will be able to see this and I can run this directly on the database. Also, I have the option of using the custom query script. So if I don't want to use the auto generated script, I can use the custom query script here. And after that, I can click on close. Now in this query filter also, we can simply drag the object. Let's say if I drag the city. So here we have the different operators like in list, not in list, equal to, not equal to. And here we can either add a constant or a value from a list or we can give a prompt to the end user. So let's say if I want to select the values from the list and if I select few of the cities and I move it to the selected values. Now I want to see the data preview. I will click on the refresh and I will be able to see the data preview here in the data preview panel. If everything looks okay to me, I will click on the run query. So once we run the query, so our data is inserted into the Webby report. So I can see here that all the four objects we have selected, so they are added to the report body. Now, if I want to go back to the query and if I want to add or remove the object, so I can click on the edit and I can drag the objects from here. So let's say if I want to add the net amount also with the gross amount. I can simply click on the run query but now I will get the object into my available objects and I have to drag it to the table to show it in the report. So now we have the different options here. The first one is the report element. So from the report element we can add any new element like table, cell, section, comment, charts. So we can add all these things into the report. After that we have the format. So the format if we want to do any formatting like based upon the font, border, cell. So we can do that in the format section. Data access is for the 
data providers and here I can control my data. Then in the analysis, we have the option of adding the filters, input controls, we can do the data tracking, we can add the ranking, we can add the conditional rules and then we have the page setup. So under the page setup, you can set up the uh, report header, footer, you can set up the page as a portrait, landscape, you can set up the margins. So all these things you can do from the page setup. And after that, you just click on the save. So once you click on the save, it will ask you to either save the report locally or you can save it to the BO repository by logging in into the BO server. So here under the public folders or under your favorites, you can simply go to the folder in which you want to save the report. You can give the name here. Let's say if I want to give the demo and I can click on save. So this report will be now saved into my BO repository. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can do a simple web report development based upon the HANA DB. Thank you.